Why would I buy a condo in Bangkok when there seems to be an unlimited supply of new condos popping up? There's no way my condo would retain its value, right? This is one of the most common concerns I get from people, and a very valid one too. Now my response to that would be, yes, there's condos popping up all the time, but how many condos can have a direct ramp onto a major SkyTrain station? How many can give you a front row view of the iconic Riverside or Bangkok Central Park? If you've ever played the board game Monopoly, you'll know that it's all about capturing key strategic locations. So in this video, I'm going to show you condos with these unique qualities that have actually appreciated in price based on real market data. And if you're looking to buy, rent, or invest in property in Thailand, see the link in the description of this video for how we can help you find the right place. Now the condos that I'm about to show you all share very important qualities that contribute to why they've gone up in value over the years. They're in excellent locations, they have unique selling points that are hard or near impossible to replicate, and they're by reputable developers. Because in Thailand, brand matters a lot, both in terms of market perception and the quality of the project. And the first place I'm going to show you is located in probably the most desired neighborhood in Bangkok, has literally a direct ramp onto the BTS station, and was built by one of the most reputable developers in Thailand. It's called Noble Plus. Plunchit, located in the Plunchit area in Bangkok. Plunchit is located west of Asol intersection, east of Siam shopping mall, north of Lumpini Park. It's where the major embassies are located, and so the main road in Plunchit, called Wireless Road, is known as Embassy Row, and it has become known for its international vibe and cleanliness. Plunchit is also known for its high-end office buildings that are occupied by the top multinational companies in the world. On top of this, it's where the major five-star hotels are, such as Park Hyatt, Rosewood, and the Kimpton. It also has some of the fanciest malls in Bangkok, such as my favorite, Central Embassy and Sinton Village. Towards the end of Wireless Road is Lumpini Park, which is one of the iconic large parks in Central Bangkok. Now, with the notoriously atrocious traffic situation in Bangkok, living near public transportation is key to a punctual and stress-free life. And the BTS SkyTrain station in this area has a direct ramp onto Noble Plunchit. It's actually the only condo project that has a direct ramp onto this particular station. The developer is one of the top real estate companies in Thailand and is known for being able to capture strategic locations in the city, especially land plots that are right next to public transportation, like this one here. Noble Plunchit is a 51-story luxury condo project that was completed in December of 2016. Now, since its completion, the average asking price per square meter has gone from 262,000 baht per square to 301,000 baht per square meter today, with a pre-pandemic peak of 315,000 per square meter in 2019. And the units I'm going to show you is a 69.95 square meter, two bedroom, two bathroom on the 46th floor that is listed by the developer itself for 22.6 million baht, which is around 695,000 US dollars, bringing the price per square meter to around 323,000 baht per square meter. Now, before I give you a tour, let's scroll down to the section titled investment opportunity. Notice that the FASWAS site has given an estimated rent price of 62,000 baht a month. They did this by using data from other two bedroom units in this same project. So that's really a nifty data driven feature for people who may want to buy this place to rent out. Now, if you buy the condo at the listed price and rent it out for 62K a month, you'll get a gross rental yield of 4% a year and a price to rent ratio of 29, which is the number of years expected for the rent to completely pay for the condo. It's kind of like a price to earnings ratio for real estate. However, keep in mind that as the rent goes up throughout the years, the price to rent ratio will go down and you'll be able to pay off this condo faster than 29 years. Also, the cam fee is what you need to pay per month for the maintenance of the condo's common areas. All right, let's jump into a 3D walkthrough of this place. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a bare shell condo sold by the developer, so you can furnish it to your liking. I am gonna jump into the entrance where you uh, can enter this condo via a private elevator. 
So turning in here after this hallway, you walk in and then you have uh, that one bathroom uh, that you can access from the front and also from the bedroom. And then stepping in to the right is that first bedroom with a uh, small window here. You can either turn it into a bedroom or as an office if you want. Uh, this area over here in the main section of the room, uh, you've got an area that you can turn into a kitchen. You've got some er an area here for some countertops, some furniture. Uh, you can install some cabinetry in this corner here. And then further along is uh, this area that you can turn into your living room. And that leads you to a view that I'm gonna uh, show you right here. This is actually in uh, a west facing view. So that's actually pretty cool. So you're gonna see the sunset from here. Over there is the Nana area. And uh, I know that because it's demarcated by this uh, prominent Plunjit uh, highway here. And what you see over here is the BTS line. And so that is Plunjit station. And that gives you a direct ramp onto your home here, which is uh, super, super convenient during uh, rush hour time. All right, let's jump into the master bedroom. Okay, so you have that same view uh, as well from the master. So a uh, pretty decent area for you to furnish. Uh, to your liking and then uh, there's this uh, bathroom here that ca that you can access from two ways you've got a sink with some uh, vanity countertop a uh, large mirror here and then uh, opposite is your toilet and your shower that comes with a regular shower head as well as a rain shower so zooming up just to give you another idea of this place there's what you get here another project by noble development that has a direct ramp onto a bts station is noble remix which connects to the bts tonglaw station platform making it a blessing during the rainy season being in this very prized strategic location the average asking price per square meter has grown from 90,000 baht when the condo was completed in 2007 to 172,000 baht today. Whereas Planchet is the central business district of Bangkok, Tong Law, I would say, is the central entertainment district. Here, you'll find all the fancy restaurants and nightlife. In the daytime, I'm checking out the girls in yoga pants that are heading to their next cycling class. At night, I'm checking out girls in high heels that are heading to the latest trendy nightclub. And the unit I'm going to show you is a 98 square meter condo, two bedroom, two bathroom on the 22nd floor that's on sale for 20 million bucks which is around 613,000 US dollars, bringing the price per square meter to 204,000 baht per square meter. It is also available for rent long-term starting 65K a month. An estimated rent of 65K will give it a 4% rental yield and a price to rent ratio of 26. The cam fee you'll need to pay each month is 3,920 baht. Now, this unit in particular does not have a 3D virtual tour available, so I'm gonna show you a similar unit of the same size on the fifth floor, except that this one is within the Thai quota, so a non-Thai person will not be able to buy this unit, but I'm just gonna give you a tour so you can have an idea of what uh, this place looks like okay zoom up to the floor plan so uh, this place is sectioned off in uh, two main areas so you walk in you have this kitchen and then you have the dining room and living room for your guests and then uh, this other part leads to the two bedrooms so let's uh, jump into from the entrance so uh, yeah, to the right, uh, you've got a decently sized kitchen. To the left is some cabinetry, an electric stove, uh, an area to put your fridge. And then uh, walking further in, you've got uh, your uh, dining area and then uh, this living room area here. Uh, don't pay attention to that ugly view. <laughs> it's not the one you'll see in the unit I'm talking about. Okay, so and then when you walk into the uh, second portion of uh, this condo, to the right is uh, the first bedroom that comes with its own bathroom that comes with a shower and a bathtub, gives you a view. And then uh, just having a look at uh, the bedroom. Okay, yeah, decently sized bedroom to fit a full size bed and uh, place for your desk and all like that. So pretty decent. And then a built in wooden wardrobe. Uh, looking at the other room is uh, okay, yeah, 
pretty much the similar size. This uh, unit here is a corner room, so you've got uh, windows on both sides. And uh, let's zoom up to, okay, yeah, the bathroom at right over here. Okay, nice. So it's these actually these two rooms are actually a bit mirrored, so they of the similar space, and they both have bathrooms that come with a bathtub, so both parties can enjoy that luxurious bubble bath at Noble Remix. Now, if you're not necessarily concerned about living in the central business district of Bangkok and prefer somewhere with a great view and a more romantic vibe, then you totally should consider the riverside area of Bangkok. There is a lot of culture and history along the river, and this area lights up gorgeously at night. And therefore, what you would want, and also just as important is what the market wants, is a place that has a full-on unobstructed view of the romantic and iconic Dao Priya River. There's actually quite a few branded residences here that promise you a riverside view on a high floor, like the Four Seasons residences, the Banyan Tree residences, or even the residences at the Mandarin Oriental. But they're all kind of ridiculous in terms of pricing, and they've all been built fairly recently, so there's no real track record of the price appreciation. So instead, I've chosen a Riverside project that was completed in December of 2009, and has seen its average asking price per square meter grow from 123,000 baht in 2009 to 206,000 baht per square meter today, and has barely had a price dip during the pandemic. It is a 71 floor condo called the River by the developer Raimon Lan. Personally, this one is my favorite developers. They don't release projects that often, but when they do, they make sure that they get it right and each place becomes an icon of the area. The River is still considered one of the most popular projects in the Riverside area and the developer is known for being personally in charge of the maintenance of their condos, as opposed to a lot of other developers out there that outsource it to a third party company that just totally F it up and leave it to deteriorate. And the unit I'm about to show you is a 129.42 square meter, two bedroom, three bathroom on the 25th floor that's for sale for 27.9 million baht, which is around 858,000 US dollars, bringing the price per square meter to 215,000 baht per square meter. You can also rent this place for 75K a month to try it out before you decide to buy it. Now, scrolling down to the investment opportunity, you've got an estimated rental price of 75K a month, which would give you a rental yield of 3% and a price to rent ratio of 31. You also need to pay 11,648,000 baht a month in CAM fees. All right, let's have a look at the unit. So like I said, what really sells this place is gonna be the gorgeous view of the river. So I'll get to that in a second. As I zoom up, you'll see that uh, you've got uh, this, this unit is divided into uh, two main sections, uh, divided into half. To the right here is a dining room and a kitchen and a living room. And then to the left are the two bedrooms. Uh, then you've got uh, three bathrooms, one for the guests, one for that uh, other bedroom and a master bathroom. Notice that this uh, one entire side of the unit faces the view, uh, and then you have a large balcony here that you can access via your two bedrooms. So I'm gonna jump in from the entrance here, okay? So that's the entrance. So to the right, you've got uh, space for a large dining table and also uh, a large kitchen with an island, comes with a, uh, all these appliances, a stove, and then you've got some uh, storage space up top and uh, lots of cabinetry below and overhead. So that's really nice. And then you've got a large living room space here that they've um, decked out for you a little bit in this very nice minimalist style. All right, let's cut to the chase and go to see the view of this place. All right, boom, 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 boom. Actually, let me zoom out and um, jump into the balcony so we can see the view. All right, cool. So like I said, you've got a unobstructed view of the Dao Priya River. This uh, faces south. I know that because that is the um, Four Seasons private residences that I mentioned. Also gives you a riverfront view, but is pretty expensive. So I'm gonna go for this one. And here is a bunch of green space and uh, they're not gonna allow for any construction to happen that close to the bridge. So you're rest assured that this view is gonna stay as is. So this is a gorgeous view of the iconic Dao Priya River and it's gonna light up 
very beautifully at night. Back to the layout, let's actually, um, okay, let's go to the balcony and walk into the first bedroom. So it's just another uh, standard small-ish uh, bedroom that you can convert into uh, your office as well. And that uh, comes equipped with its own bathroom that comes with a fairly nice uh, sink and a shower, also a rain shower as well. Good mirror. Speaking of bathrooms, let's jump into the guest bathroom. So we have here, yeah, so no shower, uh, just a sink and a pretty large mirror here. Very nice. And um, a uh, toilet seat there. Okay, I actually like uh, these these wooden doors. That's That makes it look very sturdy and high class. Let's actually walk along this way. And then to the left, oh wow. Oh, I see, got it, got it. So this is actually a door. And once, and so you can access your master bedroom slash uh, master bathroom through this door if you want. And so to the left, you've got a uh, shower and a bathtub for the master and a very nice, very large there. And then you've got a, a different section there uh, for the toilet and you've got these um, glass screens here to uh, section off uh, the bathtub and uh, the toilet. And then you can walk here into your master. So you've got a little uh, walk-in closet there. I really love this wooden finishing, gives it this really luxurious look to it. And then you've got a uh, master bedroom here, actually. Oh, I see, so you can only access it, so you can access it from uh, this hallway here and also from the balcony. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And uh, okay, and then you've got that view. Hmm. I really, really wish that um, the bed would actually face uh, the view. This is one pet peeve I have about uh, real estate projects in Thailand is that they don't like do up the luxurious factor of the master bedroom. Like you've got this awesome view. So let's uh, have the bed face it. But okay, that's me nitpicking. I mean, you, you still have that gorgeous view anyway, but I just think it'll give you such a much more romantic feel if you're like lying down and facing that view and you're having breakfast in bed and you're looking at the river and all like that. Oh, that's gonna be mwah, so gorgeous. But I don't know, maybe you can angle your bed somehow. And then, uh, like I said, uh, you can access uh, this balcony here. So zooming up to, uh, to conclude the place, uh, uh, half, the second half is uh, the bedrooms. And then you've got this very large area here on the right for your dining room, kitchen and living room for your guests. And uh, they all face this uh, gorgeous unobstructed view of the Chao Phraya River. Now, if you wanna live in central Bangkok, and have a great view. Well, remember how I said that Raimon Land seems to always get it right when they do build a condo? Well, I just showed you the river condo by Raimon Land. Now here is the lakes. The project is located very close to a Seoul intersection, which is arguably the most important intersection in Bangkok, but also gives you a gorgeous, unobstructed view of the nearby park that has a man-made lake, hence the name of the condo, The Lakes. Sadly, parks are quite rare in Bangkok, so places that are next to a park are also very rare. Because of this, the average asking price per square meter has appreciated from 129,000 baht in 2008 to 201,000 baht per square today. And the unit I'm about to show you is a 109 square meter, two bedroom, two bathroom on the 22nd floor that's going for 21.5 million baht, which is around 661,000 US dollars, bringing the price per square meter to 197,000 baht per square meter. This place has an estimated rent of 62K a month, which gives it a rental yield of 3% and a price to rent ratio of 29. You also need to pay 3,815 baht a month for the cam fees. All right, let's see what awesome view this place has. Okay, so my first impression is I actually love the wood furnishings of this place. You see uh, the floor, the cabinetry, these closets. It gives you this really nice cultural Thai vibe to it. So I'm actually gonna step start first to the door, which is also, uh, Really nice wood as well, I like that. Ooh, I also like this uh, texture on the wall. Okay, anyway, so to the right is um, yeah a, a dining area with a 
dining set that's made of wood as well. That's really nice. And then you've got uh, like a like a shelving area that you can decorate with your I don't know high school trophies or <laughs> uh, Nobel Peace Prizes. And then you've got a uh, Western kitchen with an island. Again, I love this wooden cabinetry. It's got an oven and a microwave and uh, electric stove there. And then you have your uh, first uh, bathroom here that comes with a shower, a regular shower head and a rain shower. Ooh, I, I really like this uh, nice um, countertop here. The color really pops, although I wish it would just completely connect to this wall. But then you also got this really nice, gorgeous uh, mirror here. All right, so stepping out into the living room area. So you've got um, this uh, living room area here, and then you've got this partition that um, brings you to this other uh, bedroom, or you can uh, turn it into an office space here, as you've seen here that they've hinted for you. So you've got a nice wooden uh, desk here. And um, I like to mention that um, the living room and both bedrooms face this gorgeous view that I'm about to show you in a second, because this is what really sells the place. Okay. Okay, so that is uh, the main park that I was talking about with the man-made lake there. And so you're gonna have an unobstructed VIP front row view of um, the central park of Bangkok. And then you've got this backdrop of all the, the Bangkok cityscape as well. I think you're gonna get a, a better view here from the master. So actually let's jump into the master bedroom there. See, okay, cool. So really nice view of that park and also of uh, Bangkok. This faces west, so this is gonna look gorgeous during the sunset. You're gonna have a sunset uh, view of the park with the backdrop of the cityscape and you're gonna see the whole city light up. Oh, it's gonna be so gorgeous and romantic. And I just want to mention that, um, I just want to mention that um, a soul intersection is right there. That's, um, yeah, right, right there. So you're very close to the main intersection in Bangkok. So let's go back to the master bedroom. Yep, okay, I like this wooden furnishing again that contrasts very well with the white walls. That's very nice. Ooh, nice. Bespoke walkthrough wardrobes with hinged doors, it says. Wow, wow, wee wah. Yep, nice. And then you have a bathroom with a um, pure, white, luxurious, built-in jacuzzi bathtub. Thank you for pointing that out. Wow, jacuzzi, nice. And so, uh, uh, yeah, cool. And then you've got a bunch of mirrors here. Again, Again, this bed uh, doesn't necessarily face the view. You're facing it to the side, but okay, I guess that's how people like to have it. So it is what it is. So zooming up, so okay. Got a large dining room slash living room in the middle. You've got your dedicated pantry. Actually, yeah, I haven't um, seen the kitchen yet. So actually let's um, go in here because it, it, it uh, round, goes around to this little corner here. That's a laundry room that comes with a lawn, uh, washing machine, lots of countertop space, and then uh, overhead storage here as well. So that's very nifty. So if you're looking to rent, buy, or invest in a property in Thailand, whether it's the condos featured in this video or any condo in Thailand, I can connect you with a real estate agent from Fazwaz who knows the Thai market, who can give you property tours, including virtual tours if you're outside of Thailand, and help you sort out all that complicated, nasty Thai legalities. See the link in the description of this video for how to get started. You can also check out the videos that just popped up for more reviews of properties in Thailand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.